Yo guys, what is up? Welcome here to the channel. So today, I've got a video for you to show you how you can play copyright music on your OBS streams, going through to Twitch, Kick, everywhere else, apart from YouTube, because you will get in trouble there, and basically use this app, and you can get it fed through from your chat. They can basically say what they want, put it through to you, and you can play it on stream for them. Let's dive in. So before we get into the app, I want to make sure you actually have your OBS set up so that you are not getting caught out on your Twitch VODs for this. So this is our main object we'll look at first. Basically our audio tracks. I have mine set up right now. So the stuff that goes through Spotify only comes through actually on my Twitch channel. So you can see here Spotify only on number one where my actual microphone here and game audio is on both one and six. It's on number six because six comes in for the Twitch VOD, whilst number one would only be on the live stream audience. So to do this, we need to go over to my settings here, and then straight away, you'll be welcomed by this panel, go to your output, and then if you have it on an advanced setting, which you need to have an advanced setting for this to happen, you can see right now, mine obviously, because I'm recording right now, I can't amend them, but my audio track, it says number one. That means basically anything going through number one will go into the live audience feed, meaning Spotify would go through a number one. Anything on number six will basically mean it only gets caught up by the Twitch VOD. So, of course, things like my microphone right now be on number one and six because I want it in both the live stream and I want it also in my Twitch VODs. So going back to what we just looked at, of course, then if you give one more little look here as well, we can go through a lot more. I have a lot of sources on mine, so I do apologise. You do get a bit lost here. So Spotify is only on number one. So basically the Twitch VOD does not hear what is happening in this channel, but the actual live stream audio is where they hear what is happening within this channel. As I mentioned already, the other game audio, my webcam here, of course, doesn't need it. That's on, I don't know why it's on there, honestly. So we can ignore that one. So we go to here to the Elgato Way 3. So on number one, so the Twitch stream and the audience can hear it but also the VODs can hear it. So what we need to do now is basically we need to get how we're going to get our songs going through Channel Point Redemptions, going into Songify, going to Spotify, and then coming back into your streams so people in the chat can request whatever songs they like, either while we use Channel Points or using commands. Let's dive in. So to start things off, we need to go onto songify.overcode.tv. All this will be linked down below, and you'll be welcomed on this page here. It will say download now for free, but it will literally just take you down to this section to download from GitHub. We can click into this now, and it'll bring us over to this address here. You can see straight away, the most recent version was only three weeks ago. It's updated quite often still. It's still very well used as well. And this is Songify version 1.6.3. So download the latest version. You scroll down a little bit here, and you'll see a songify.zip file. You want to click into that, and then your download will begin. Of course, I've downloaded it a few times, so there's a few copies of it on my system already. So you can see on screen now, we have Songify in our downloads folder right now. So the next thing you want to do is unzip that compressed folder. Go on Windows, it's quite simple as going down to Extract All. And it will open whatever WinRAW or whatever software you use for that already. If you haven't got anything like that as well, I can link you to that as well. Let me know in the comment section. But if you just search WinRAW on Google, you can download some free software and it will unzip all your files for you. There are Mac alternatives to this as well. So again, if you just Google... WinWar, Mac, or something similar to that, you will find a Mac exclusive version as well for that. But yeah, at this point, you want to hit Extract All, and you'll be welcome then into this window. Hit Extract, and then the folder will open up something like this. But all that folder is also this one here within your Downloads folder, and the Songify app is now there. Double click now into your Songify app, and you'll be welcomed by this window here. This window basically says that Microsoft Defender is going to kind of like say, it's an unrecognized app, it's not a Windows app, do you still want to run this? If you do want to run it, which you do need to do for this, hit more info and then hit run anyway. Once you've hit run anyway, I'll open up all these little bits of folders here that help in just install the process of using this software. And then you can actually run the app itself. It should pop up automatically and it should look something like this. Now your version won't have these ticks here at the very bottom, but we can get into why that is and we can get you set up into getting that sorted straight away. So the first thing I want you to do first is actually try and connect your Twitch. It'll let you on here. Log in with Twitch, connect, and it'll set you up with your Twitch account straight away. You log in your information, but you can also do this via the settings tab by going to Twitch and clicking in here and log in your Twitch account into this. It will instruct you if you want to use a Twitch bot account as well. I don't personally, but if you want to use your actual main account as that account, it will do that for you. If not, you can make an actual separate Twitch bot and it will announce 
the songs in the chat and stuff like that automatically through that. But I just use my own main account to announce those songs or announce when people have done that within Channel Point Redemptions. The next thing you want to do now is go down to Spotify. And straight away, you can see a lot of information here. Client ID, client secret. Where do you get this information? So what I want you to do now is go to developer.spotify.com. At this screen here, you need to log into your Spotify account, which you can do so via following this on screen right now. So now once you're logged in like I am right now, you can hit your name in the top corner and hit dashboard. Of course, I have a few different versions here, test version, which I did for the video, example I was messing with earlier on today, Songify, Stream Deck, and another one for Spotify. You don't need all these, you only need to have one, which will be the Songify one, which you'll have right here. Make this, you hit Create App, you put in the app name, you can call whatever you want, sort of thing. Often these, these are all different things from different sound effects we use in the past, sort of thing. So for this one, Songify, description and just put music so as simple as that and then this redirect URI is the important one right now I want you to use this here this is that link I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the description as well if you really need me to so http semicolon slash slash localhost semicolon 4002 forward slash off that's all you need to put in that section and then tick I understand and hit that save button. Once you've done that, you'll be welcome now. You'll have Songify or whatever you called it on there. I called mine, I put OBS Live Music in that section. You can go into this now and then hit the settings tab and then you're welcome by the client ID. To get the client secret as well, which you need on this screen, if you get the screen back on the screen now for you to see, you do need that one as well. You need to click that one, it will view your client secret. And again, basically simple as hit the copy button there, paste it in, then copy again from this section which you've shown it and paste it in that section there. So by this point now, your Songify and Spotify should look something like this. Basically, right now, if you play any music through Spotify, it'd be picked up by a Songify, same as mine played Suicide Tendencies earlier on today. It's picking it up now and it's all connected nice and easy. So we're going through the first tab, Twitch. We want to make sure now, as we mentioned already, log in with Twitch. Hopefully you've got this section all done by now and make sure that Auto Connect is ticked on. What I'm going to do now is going to go through all the different tabs here on the settings menu just to make sure you're following the same settings I have because I think it's probably the best and easiest way to do it. I mean again simple ones, light, dark theme, you can change it to whatever you prefer as well. But we'll keep it on light theme for this example. Uh, auto start with Windows, definitely have this one on. So, so basically as soon as you turn your computer on straight away it will boot it up and everything will connect straight away. You don't have to mess with any settings later on throughout the day. If you had your computer on for a few hours prior and then decide to start streaming you don't need to mess with anything. Minimize the system tray will simply mean as simple as as soon as you hit the minimize button, it's not down here. It will literally put it straight back into your system tray. But of course, we're using that right now and have things open. So it will, of course, be in that right in this instance. Open queue window and start will basically open the queue in terms of when people are asking for certain songs. We'll open the queue in a separate window. I don't have mine coming up and slowed up, really. I can have mine built into my OBS if I want to view it. So I don't do this personally myself. And the rest of these you can probably leave exactly as they are. Moving then into output, again, I've never touched any of this stuff really. I don't really need to touch anything from here sort of thing, unless you're doing certain stuff like want to download cover work and stuff, but you don't really touch anything in this section. You have done your Twitch stuff by now, but of course, going back to Twitch, you need to get connected to channel points. Depending on how you want to do your song requests, you can do it via channel points, but you can also do it via a song request where people basically put a command in the chat saying slash whatever sort of thing that you can see from the commands list here. You can put exclamation mark song, display the current song, so on. You can actually command to pick what songs you want to put on through this, but I do all mine through channel points. That's something different you can play with. I mean, have a play with it, but it's not really what I use my one personally for. I use mine for this instance here that we do a song request one. So you can see on screen, reward for song requests, request a song, 500 channel points. That's my one set up. If you don't have one already built into your Twitch, you can connect by doing create new reward with your Twitch account already connected, of course, previously, you can do it here and it will put it into your Twitch channel for you and it will build it then into Songify. And of course, to do that, create new reward. You put the title in there, the prompt, and then the cost of how many channel points it will cost for the viewer to activate, to request their own songs. So within the song request tab here, you can see straight away, enable SR channel rewards. This is the one that I have ticked on for mine. Because again, we mentioned already our rewards already. If you want to use request a song, you can go into your record rewards by using your channel points. So that one, Keep that ticked on. Clear the queue on startup. I don't have mine to clear the queue on startup, but it basically means when you look at your queue of upcoming songs, again, it's just cleared every time you start up. But I leave mine on there because it's nice to see if someone requested a song yesterday on stream. I'd be like, what was that song? It sounded really good. I've never heard of it before. I can go back, look through the queue and be like, that's the song. Brilliant. Let's say that to my own playlist. So here for the SR commands, again, it's very much a case if you want to use channel points or actually used commands. I have all mine set basically to everything. So viewer, subscriber, VIP, moderator, 
Same for this one, but I do have the SR command actually turned off. We only have it going through channel points only. Again, here, the most like amounts of use this sort of thing, but I have mine set on a limited song request. So if someone wants to request 10 songs during a stream, they want to use all their channel points and request that many. If they want to request one, they can do as many as they like within my stream. We have a cooldown command, basically, so they can't request song after song after song. They have to have a bit of a break. It's only five seconds. It's only a small window, but we don't get millions of these requests come through. But if you're a bigger streamer, maybe have a longer cooldown period where you say, right, you only can request one song every five minutes or so. But again, I'm quite happy about mine quite low. And the max song length, 10 minutes. I mean, you don't want real long songs, to be fair. For this, I might even drop mine down a little bit more to seven minutes. Responses are again to do if you want a block, if you want your bot to block certain artists, sort of thing. There's an artist that you're not a fan of, or they've done something away from their music, sort of thing. You're not killing that person, you want to ban them. You can actually put certain artists to be banned. Max songs in queue and so on. You can mess with these commands and change them to reword however you like. So, of course, commands basically, these commands can be used by the chat to see like what song is currently being played right now, what's the next song in the queue. You can skip, you can even do a vote skip as well. People can actually do a vote and they can skip songs they want to. But I only show right now what is the song that's actually currently listening to. But again, up to you. If you want to show what the next song in the queue is, you can have exclamation mark next available to your chat and they can see what song is going to be played next through Songify. Spotify by this point should all be set up, of course. And the web server, I have sound mine set to 1025. But again, a lot of these settings were already built into mine straight away on the installation. So again, feel free to copy these same ones over if you don't have them already. And if you do have any issues with that, get in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Or of course, join the Discord. So by this point now, you should be able to hit the X now. And again, you should have now green ticks along here. I think they're green. I am colorblind. I will admit that bit straight away. You should have them ticks along there. You can ignore the last one. That's because the stream is offline right now. We're not currently live streaming us doing this. So if you want to view actual song requests that have been made, now you can click view window, this one here. And of course, right now, there's nothing in my queue right now. So we can actually clear the queue. There'll be nothing there. We can also go to clear queue, block list, and queue browser as well, which will sort of bring it up in your browser. But if you want to go to the history I mentioned earlier, history window, if you open this up a little bit wider here, you can actually see what has been requested previously. Mine has been cleared already today. You can refresh it. You can save the list as well. So like I said, there's some really good songs put in that playlist today. You can save the whole list of all those names right there. So right now, we come into Spotify. We can actually put on a song right now. Say this one here, Norm, Good Boys. Let's put that on for a moment. And then within a few seconds, this should update now to the new song you are playing. And just like that, it has updated now straight away. So we know what song we're actually playing now through Spotify. So how do we get this to work now within our Twitch chat? So now as we're heading to OBS, we're going to show you the two different ways you can request songs using either chat commands or using channel points. So of course, the first way involved using chat commands, I don't have that set up on my system, but again, we went through it earlier. You can use these different triggers here to start song requests. So exclamation mark SSR, put the command in for a certain song that you want to play through Spotify with the Spotify link or either the artist's name and the title of the song. That is enabled, you can do that within your chat, simply have that enabled, and then type in exclamation mark SSR, and then we'll go with the same example as above, my chemical romance space, I'm not okay. For that instance, it would add it then to our playlist. And then if we go back over to our Spotify account now, if we go over here to the very end of this song, we wait a few seconds and straight away, the next song that came up was My Chemical Romance, I'm Not Okay. That one's there for the emos. So of course, the other way you can go about doing this as well is you head over to your channel commands. Of course, you have channel, channel point redemptions, which we've done for our one, which is a request a song. And there's two ways also of doing this. Again, we'll use the same example. We'll go with My Chemical Romance again, just because it's a very simple one to do. But this time we'll put in Helena as a different song. Put it through there. And then within a few seconds, My Chemical Romance Helena, requested by Murph FM, has been added to the queue. So now again, we can go over to Spotify. We had a song playing right now. We can put this right towards the very end. We'll press play. We'll have our Songify app open, ready. So again, we can see now the song Kalina has started playing now through Spotify. And within a few short seconds then, Songify will update itself to say the same thing and say who requested it within the chat. Mokka Mokka Romance Helena, requested by Murph FM. So of course, another way you can do this is by going into a song and actually taking the link from a song. So we'll take uh, Limp Biscuit here, roll in, right click, share, copy song link. We head then back to the chat, of course, and we can go down to the channel point redemption, request a song and put the link in there. And then bang, just like that, Limp Biscuit roll in, requested by Murph FM, added to the queue. We bring the song to the very end once again, just to make sure it's definitely working. 
Within a few short seconds, we'll see now the song is now playing through Spotify. And then if we head back over to the song of fire now, it, the song Limp Biscuit Rolling, requested by Murph Femme, is now playing through on Spotify and through Songify. Now, if you followed all these steps, and of course, at the very start of the videos, I'm making sure that you don't have these songs coming through on your main channel, going to your Twitch VODs as well. You shouldn't get any problems with copyright free. The only thing I do say is that YouTube, this will not work on YouTube because YouTube VODs, it will just capture it anyway regardless. You can't separate the audio channels through OBS onto YouTube and YouTube won't be able to basically, any YouTube live streams, they won't be able to listen to that mine copyright free music basically. So copyright music, they're going to struggle with basically over there. But if you're streaming on Twitch, Kick, TikTok, everywhere else, you're fine to do this and it'll work great for you. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you're liking this video, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again soon. Some more tech and streaming support tips here on the Murph Plus channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.